Hello everyone, if you are a WooCommerce store owner, you might feel the necessity to create variations for a specific product with custom product level attributes. In this video, we are going to show you how to convert variation select dropdown into color, image, button and radio swatches with custom product level attribute. So without further delay, let's dive into it. Before demonstrating the video, make sure you have both the free and pro versions of the variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. To do that, head back to the dashboard. Click on add new plugin. Then search for Variation Swatches and you will find the Variation Swatches for WooCommerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. Now install it. To download the pro version, please check the link in the description. Ok, now follow the steps. As we are willing to show you from the very beginning, that's why it's better to make this tutorial from scratch. Step 1. Add new product. To add a new product, go to your dashboard. Then click on add new under the products option. Now give a name to your product. Add a description you like. Now choose variable product from the product data. Then click on attributes. Here you can make all the attributes for this specific product you need. Let's create our first attribute color. Then make the variations of your color such as white, blue and black. You need to separate the variations with the bar sign. Now create our second attribute material with the leather rexin variations. Then create the third attribute made in with the US UK variations. Finally let's create our last attribute size with the large, medium, small variations. Ok, now it's time to create variations for each of your attributes. It means what are the types of variations you want to display on your product page. So to do that just click on the variations option. Then you'll find two options. Number 1 generate variations, number 2 add manually. If you press generate variations, it will create all the possible variations for the available attributes. But to make this tutorial simple we're going to create through the add manually option. After making your variations, don't forget to add an image and price. Make sure you have properly selected your images. And it's also important to add the price per variation. Now it's time to add a featured image for the product. When everything is done, hit the publish button. To see your product, click on view product. Done, here's the product you just published. Step 2. Convert drop downs into buttons. As you can see the drop down option for your product that is not appealing to look at, right? In this step we're going to convert the drop downs into buttons. To do that, head back to the dashboard. Click on the install plugin. Here you can see your previously installed plugin. Now activate the variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. Then come back to your product page and refresh the page. Here it goes. The drop down option has been converted into buttons. Step 3. Show real colors and images. To display colors and images, go back to your dashboard and click on swatches settings. Here you can see nothing but some instructions for the pro version, right? To set up these settings you need to install and activate the pro version of this plugin. As I have the pro version, 
Let's go back to the dashboard again and click on install plugin. Now activate the premium version of the plugin. Then go back to your previous page watcher settings. Here change the attribute type to color for the color attribute, image for the material attribute, radio for the make in attribute and lastly button for the size attribute. After selecting the attribute type, click on the save swatches settings button. Then click on update. Now click on view product. Look, the made in buttons have been turned into the radio but no real colors and images in the color and material attribute. Because we just changed the attribute type but didn't select any real colors and images. So to display the colors and images again head back to the dashboard. Then click on swatches settings. Now click on color and pick your products color one by one. For this tutorial we will create white, blue and black colors. Again click on the material and select your images. We have opted out the images for this specific product. You can pick your own. Now click on Save Swatches Settings. Then click the Update button. Done. Now go back to your product page and refresh it. Awesome. Here are your desired real colors and images alongside the radio and button swatches.